Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media. Today I have a brand new react for you guys. It is Falling Apart by Pegboard Nerds, Stonebank, and Amel. For the first time ever, we've got the collaboration between Pegboard Nerds and Stonebank. And of course, Amel, you can't not have her on this track as well. And so, I am super stoked for this. For years and years and years, the community's been like, Stonebank and Pegboard Nerds need to collaborate. This needs to be a thing. And it never was, it never happened. But finally, two of the old guards of the Monster Cat label are finally here together to produce a song together with Amel, of course. And so, just an added bonus. Um, I know nothing about this song. I am really intrigued to hear where it's going to go, uh, what kind of genre it's going to be, and what it's going to sound like. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. Further ado, further ado. Uh, here is Falling Apart by Pigboard Nerd, Stonebank, and Amel. My guess is gonna be Happy Hardcore, just because it's Stonebank, and Pegboard Nerds hasn't shied away from that in the Watch past. My life pass me by, never knowing where I belong in a web of love and lies as you string me along. And I can't breathe, I can't see, I'm losing sight of everything I feel. Feels like a very stone banky song at this point. Okay, I can I can feel both producers here pretty well. Yeah, I can hear the Pegboard Nerds elements and the Stonebank elements pretty well. Feels a little more predominantly Stonebank. I'm interested to see if the second drop's gonna be heavy. Like Pink Winner and Snow. I think it's just a copy paste to drop, so. Can't hear a huge difference. This part's different. There it is. That is Falling Apart by Pegboard Nerds, Stonebank, and ML. Uh, okay, right off the bat, it wasn't uh, it wasn't like insane. 
I, there's no way I think this is like, a, oh my gosh, this is the biggest thing ever in the world. Um, the other thing I compared to would have been the Pegboy Nerds and Grabbits collaboration uh, back then. Uh, I can't remember, what was the name of that song? Um, uh, <laughs> okay, now this is going to be in my head. Uh, what was the name of that song? It, oh, All Alone. Uh, and just like two kind of like I said before, old guards of Monster Cat working together, and All Alone felt like it had more of a punch, it felt more like a grandiose track, um, and this one didn't really, I didn't feel that with Falling Apart. Uh, it was a good song, don't get me wrong, but uh, I just didn't feel like it was this grandiose, grand finale of a track, which I mean, it didn't need to be, it wasn't supposed to be, it wasn't really advertised to be that either, and so... Um, I get it. I get it. Uh, for a first collaboration, though, pretty nice. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to hear both of their styles in it. Uh, Paper Nerds and Snowmake both are known for just doing a ton of variety of stuff. They're all over the place in every genre in a good way, that they can pretty much do anything and uh, or just do anything they want. And so uh, I'm happy that uh, there's a sound that sounds a lot like the two. I mean, obviously it sounds a little more stone manky because the stone make does a little bit more uh, happy hardcore or hardcore than the pegboard nerds do. And I think you kind of had those classic um, bass hits uh, or in synth hits, the sounds that uh, stone make is kind of known for. And uh, on top of that, you've got NML paired vocals, and so it just sounds more like a Stone Bank track than a Pigboard Nerds, um, uh, which is interesting because Pigboard Nerds has the technically the uh, the first credit of the song, which I mean isn't always the an indicator of who put more work in, but sometimes. I find in the past that whoever's name is first is the one that worked on it more or whatever. Uh, so intrigued. Uh, the sound design was nice. Uh, it had a fun little atmosphere to it. There wasn't anything too uh, crazy or out of this world with it, but it was uh, a nice smooth sounding track, I would say. Uh, the quality of the whole thing um, was great. Uh, I, I didn't think there was anything bad about it. There didn't seem like any hiccups, any odd parts, but uh, I, I just, it just felt like it was a little, it was a little tamer. I would have wished Pigwin Nerds and Stone Mike to uh, go a little harder. It feels like it's a little, a little pulled back, a little more reserved, a little more uh, trying to be safe, uh, and I would have rather them just go for it, and um, yeah. And the last thing I'll say is uh, I do really like Amel's vocals, uh, but I think uh, Stonebank, or I mean, Stonebank and the nerds at this point, uh, tend to uh, reverb her voice so much. It sounds like it's so uh, just echoey and airy and... Um, yeah, sometimes I, I don't love it. Uh, I like when her voices, and I think it maybe it's just a personal preference, just anyways, uh, when their voices are a little more uh, clear cut and just really nice in the mix rather than being like more uh, ethereal, kind of as a overarching sound. I, I kind of want it to be a little more punchy, but um, that's just me. So uh, overall, pretty solid track. Uh, something I, I, do, I did enjoy, and I think I will enjoy for the next coming up little months here and and who knows how long i'll end up listening to this song over and over again but um i i did enjoy it uh i don't know if it has like the star power like it's i don't think it's gonna be a best of the year thing for me for sure um and maybe i was wrong going in with the expectations that maybe it was going to be but uh i did enjoy the track so it was pretty solid if i had to give it a number probably like a seven out of ten or eight out of ten uh maybe yeah probably seven and then eight maybe if i Give it some more listens if I'll really, really enjoy it. But uh, I was a fan. I was a fan. Falling Apart, Pegboard Nerds, Stone Bank, ML. Way to go. Fantastic track. Uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Did you love the song? Did you hate it? Uh, what were your thoughts on it? What do you think about this first collaboration between Pegboard Nerds and Stone Bank? I'm pretty sure it's their first collaboration. I don't know if they've done anything unofficially. Um, and by first collaboration, I mean actual collaboration, not like a remix of any other songs or something like that. Uh, first pure producer collaboration. So let me know what you guys think. I've been Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.